Hello, today I'm going to make a simple AI. This AI is going to be able to follow me and go to some random location. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the place actors area. It's on the top left corner of the screen. Click on it, go down to volumes, and it should be the first one. Bring it out to our level. And we're going to stretch it out so it covers the entire map. This is just going to tell it where the AI can go and where it can't. So if it's outside the volumes, it's not going to be able to move there. Next thing we're going to do is go into the content browser. It's on the bottom left corner of the screen. Click on it. Click on content. Characters. And this is where we're going to make our new folder. Go up to new folder, click on it, type AI, and now go into our third person folder, open blueprints, and we're going to make a duplicate of our character. So right click on it, and then duplicate. And I'm going to type, and I'm going to type BP underscore AI. Now I'm going to drag this into the AI folder. So just left click, drag, and move it to the AI folder. And then click move here. Now we're going to go into the AI folder and drag out our blueprint for the AI. So just left click on it and drag it out. We're going to go into the area next to the place actors on the top left corner, and we're going to open the level blueprint. So click this one, go down, and open level blueprint. Now that we have the level blueprint open, we're going to right click, oh, we're going to go back to the viewport, click on our AI that we just made, and we're going to go back to the level blueprint. We're going to right click and we're going to create a reference. First thing we're going to do is make a git controller. Now with the git controller, we're going to pull it out and make a simple move to actor. Now with this, we're going to pull out and make a key. This key can be literally anything. It's just going to make it so if we press something on the keyboard, it's going to show up or be able to tell um, the AI where to move. Now for goals, we're going to pull out again and type git player controller. Now that we have the first one done, we're going to left click, pull out, and press C. And then I'm going to make a simple comment, move to. This is just going to tell us where this blueprint is in this um, blueprint. Now we're going to make another reference and get another Git controller. Now that I have a git controller, we're going to pull out on this and we're going to make the simple move to location. This is going to tell, the thing I'm making here is going to tell us where the AI is going to go, like randomly. Now I'm going to make another key, I'm just going to make it three. And next thing I'm going to do is set the goals. It's going to be a get random reachable point in the radius.
Now that we have this, we're going to set the radius to something really high so it can go everywhere on the nav mesh. It might be higher depending on how big you have the area reached out. Next thing we're going to do is get get in get actor location. Um, turn off sensitivity so we can actually see it. Now that we have this, I'm going to connect it target to our reference and now that we have this you can make another comment this isn't really important and I'm just going to name it uh, name it move to location move to location um, now that we have these two blueprints we're going to save and then compile. And now we're going to go back to our viewport and click play. And we're going to click the keys that uh, we set up for this. So I set up two, so the AI is moving where I am, and three. And now it's going to some random location. Bye, thank you for watching, and thank you for following my tutorial.